My name is Brett Wilson, and I'm the director of the Center for Eastern Mediterranean Studies at Central European University. The center is designed to promote the study of the history, culture, religion, uh, and intellectual life of the Mediterranean region. We organize a variety of events that promote this uh, for both students and for faculty, as well as for the wider public. One of the highlights of the center's activities is the Graduate Student Conference, which happens every two years. This is a conference that's completely organized by the students, uh, for the students, and uh, it always brings in a wide variety of interesting topics uh, and people. We can talk about materiality around us, but not necessarily through objects. And this is how the topic of our conference came to being. Materiality in the Eastern Mediterranean world does not mean only what were the objects that surround us, archaeology or art or textiles, but rather, for instance, how spirituality was materialized and how um, things that so far have not been considered to be part of the material world could be actually integrated into this world. I very much enjoyed the conference and attending the panels and the one that I actually chaired. The paper's quality was consistently good. Uh, the variety of topics, it was quite interdisciplinary and I also thought that the variety of locations from which the speakers uh, uh, gave their lectures, their, their talks were fantastic. So yeah, my feedback uh, for the conference would just be to pursue this amazing project and to keep on organizing events which um, give students and early career researchers the opportunity to meet and exchange. So hopefully next year's uh, conference will take place uh, as an in-person event, which will give to the participants an even greater opportunity of socializing and discussing topics of mutual interest. Oh, I think part of that is the series of potential exchanges and cross-cultural interactions so that particularly as the middle ages moves on byzantium the latin west islam are in very interesting conversations and then you add into that if you think towards armenians georgians the rus it becomes a really um, a complex and deeply rooted cultural setting. My keynote address helped me think about the text, not only in material terms, in terms of marginal notes or the paper and pen, but about the performance in the physical space and how the space itself, the physical space, affects the text and how the text affects the physical space. And I also um, learned uh, very much from the conference because there were some subjects that I would never think of as a um, place of research or there are some subjects that I would never approach them in that way so I do think that I got some ideas for the future and I also think that um, I've learned more and I'm more enlightened and I'm very happy that I was part of this conference. Oh, I think it was a great occasion to hear particularly, you know, since early career scholars and to sort of listen to and to try and understand what it is that they're attempting to sort of follow in their sort of scholarly activities. I do believe that it was a very huge step to get, well, I, I can say research out and see if what I am doing will have an impact. Will it help? Will people find it interesting? The reason you should apply to the next biannual conference organized by the Center for Eastern Mediterranean Studies it is because it will give you an opportunity to interact with people who are working on the same topics as you or on the same fields as you. It would also offer you the opportunity to build academic connections and furthermore, to be part of the lively CU community where you can always make friends. So stay tuned for next year, CAMS will be offering a wide variety of events on the Mediterranean, the most interesting place in the world.